Hey, hello. This is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints with a little bit louder music than normal. In this video today, we are going to unbox the Saturn for Ultra. It is a resin 3D printer, a 12K mono LCD screen with a uh, resolution of 11,520 times 5,120 HD resolution. The build volume or the print volume is 218 times 122 times 220 millimeters. It has a tilt release, fast printing, 150 millimeters per hour, two times faster than the Saturn 3 Ultra. It has an AI camera, real-time monitoring and time-lapse. It has a smart sensor, so if you are opening the lid, then it stops printing. It has a flip cover, like mentioned, a self-check plus auto-leveling, and it has also a quick release. Now, I did have a Elegoo Resin 3D printer before, the Mars 2 Pro, I believe, is still standing there. You still see a little bit red. I'm not this type of guy that does do a lot of resin printing. I'm more into FDM. Also, since this is a smaller space, and if you want to do resin printing, you want to have a designated place where you can put the stuff, put a slab mat there, and that you get all the dirty stuff on there and that you can use it as, it, as you're supposed to. Uh, with FDM printing, I can sit here on my desk, remove the supports, and uh, hold a clean print in my hands like I did in the video that was released today. This printer I did win during the, the remurf by uh, Tripod's stand. Death in big box. Got those on top, top view. So here it says that it's uh, recommended keeping the box and the packaging 30 days in case of any return or exchange. Fragile. Power line, so I think for the power. The famous dip tray. Very nice build plate. See? This is the tilt. The meaning of this is that you are going to place it like, like this. So that if, if resin is, uh, is dripping, then it drips on here, not to the electronics, but. Very pretty. So yeah, this is a squeezed box. Cable. There's a little little rubber cover on the AI camera. Don't forget to remove that. So we have here in the toolbox we uh, we have uh, some Allen keys and also some thumb screws. These thumb screws. Okay, so I think that I need to change those into those. So the power supply unit. That, that thing is heavy. Jeez. 
yeah so we we have we have some traditional stuff we uh, we have the latex gloves so it's going to be very kinky we have also some uh, some filters to filter out any residue in the uh, in the resin so if you have a filled print which with this one won't be the problem because the AI camera detects if something is not going well we uh, we have two spatulas there are two spatulas this one is used to pry the model from the build plate this one is used for the resin fat. Don't use this one on that one because if you are going to puncture it, you'll have a mess. Anyways, and also uh, some uh, facial masks. <sighs> Ooh. We have a card on the back side. It says C2 Box Pro and then license serial number. I need to scratch it out. I hope on the uh, USB thumb drive. There are some models already pre-sliced. Uh, the cool thing is here that you take this build plate and you put it right over here and, then, and nobody saw what I did, huh? Build plate. So we are screwing in the antenna. So we are going to plug in this. Oh. So let's open this. So, so I don't think that this should be on there. So here on the build plate, it says, please press firmly onto the build plate when tightening the screws. And two, remove the protective film before printing. So. In the way that it stands here, I need to keep this on there. Uh, turn the screws. I don't know why I should turn the screws. And then remove the film. So I think I re need to replace the uh, these screws for these. I think I know why these are separate uh, from the printer. Maybe not to damage them. then and if you don't like um, if you don't like resin printing you can always start your own drumming band we call it uh, the 3d pre uh, 3d printing uh, percussions no echo echo <laughs> If you want to know how much how much tension there is on the fab film there you know just think about it brand new resin printer this is the only time you can actually do something goofy with with it because afterwards i don't think you will get uh, this uh... nice echo Yeah, those those thumb screws are very close to the cover. I'm uh, I'm very good in turning on printers. So it's now doing a self check here. Did I miss something? Device info, 3D printer. Oh, so I need to give this 3D printer a name on this tiny screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
You like this name? Drippy Zack Ultra. So, ID, network address. Oh, this is info, so I need to go here, settings. I'm going to do some Wi-Fi settings, so I'm going to do this because nobody needs to know what my password are. So, Wi-Fi connected. So that's good. Yeah, my my network is uh, Jarvis. Language. Netherlands. Huh. Do, do you think that I was going to use Dutch? Of course not. Oh, fine. All set. I forgot something here. What do you know? When did I bought this? Yeah, it's gray resin. I do have resin. 500 grams. Something like that. Yeah, this, this is the lowest tripod that I have. There's a hole in it. Oh, yeah. Time lapse. Uh, photography does not take effect on models with a height less than 50 millimeters. Models taller than 50 millimeters will shot every 10 layers starting at. 30 millimeters. So if you are printing small figurines and stuff like that, it will not do time lapse. <laughs> More or less something like, you know, go big or don't. <laughs> we have Oh my gosh, this <laughs> Okay people, okay. Are you ready for some action? Printing test. So we are going to print a rook or a rogue. I don't know if I can actually leave the cover open. Because I'm not really sure how the build plate is doing. Because nowhere it said that I had to level it. After this, it, it's n never going to be this clean anymore. The model I can see here on the screen, it's 50 millimeters. So that means there won't be any time lapse. I mean, I'm so familiar with FDM 3D printing. I know exactly what the printer is supposed to do. But for me, this, this is... The unknown. <laughs> How to get some sleep as well. Thanks. Fun stream. Thank you. Uh, yeah, because I'm, tomorrow I'm going to the make a fair or make a days. I'm just going for one day. At least I paid for one day. So I'll, I'll see what's going to happen. Everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next stream. Don't forget, don't forget to check out the Discord. I have a Discord where I have several channels to do several kind of things. One of them is Zach React. If you have something that I can use in a video as a Zach React video, then uh, please feel free to post it and let's have some fun with the rest of the world. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, I basically don't see anything. I just see a hate. It's not really focused anymore. So uh, everybody, thank you so much for watching and I will see you.